Dudley Trench, the girl coming to you from the Spring Arlington in ARBC. The end of the Spring Arlington yes, in ARBC. Yes, yes. Poor Sean. I know. Okay. I'm ready to go. I know. No, I can't go yet. We still have to take everything I know. down. But and I don't ever do work. I don't set up, really. I don't take down, really. I just talk. There we go. You're, and so you're that's it. the face. You're yeah, the face. yeah, I'm the face of the company. That's right. Oh. Yeah, I'm the face of the company. Okay, so Sean was generous enough to spend the end of his Sunday night with me, which, believe me, guys, he is dog tired. Yeah, I'm but tired. It's been a hell of a weekend. We've I had know. a lot of business. That's good. That's, all of us, though. Not good. just me. All of us have had a lot of business. It's a good show. You're going to have some. Um, I chose to film with only a select number of people. Yeah. Sean being one. And um, so I wanted to talk some corn snakes, okay. maybe. That's old school for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did before ball python I 20 know. years ago. So, right. so what's up? What talk do you to know? us a little bit about those baby bugger corn snakes that will not eat. Drop First some of wisdom all, on us. We all do extremely well with that. We do. Um, my snakes eat very well. I don't have a problem. Live pinkies, number one. That starts it off with the movement, okay. right? Frozen piggies smell different. Okay. Some of them like the stimulation, meaning try both. Okay. Okay. The age-old split-headed trick is disgusting. Yeah. But before we get to that point, we'll bag them first. Okay. Okay. Get a small paper bag, like something little, little, like almost like a little liquor store bag or something mm -hmm. like that. Small. Put the corn snake in it. Put the live pinky mm -hmm. in it. Clip the bag top shut so and put dark. it away to where it's dark and secluded. And it works a lot for a lot of snakes. No, not just corn snakes. Okay. But yeah, bagging the snake works a whole lot. And I'm then try that. the braining technique is an old school colubrid yeah. breeder technique that's done before assist feeding, before force feeding, or before pinky pumping, you know, mm -hmm. which is really freaking yeah, gross, man. Pinky is. pumping is disgusting. Yes. So if I can, I mean, I feel bad braining a pinky, but if I can brain a pinky and not have it, you know, um, have, have to drive it through a freaking pinky pump. Right. I'm all right. Um, but well, draining there, it. There's risks with force feeding the snake. Sure. So obviously, especially when you're sticking a metal pipe in its throat from a pinky pump. If it's a small pump, one, especially. From a pinky pump to throw yeah. it in there. You know, that was their old school way of force feeding snakes. Was, mm -hmm. oh man, let's eviscerate a pinky and drive it through a little steel tube in their mouth. Pinky that sounds like brilliant. Are gross. Yeah, but they're disgusting. Right. So, yeah, it's basically a Cajun injector for pinkies into a snake. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. I often think that the Cajun injector syringe was invented after the pinky pump. Wow. Just because it's so likeness. You know, mm -hmm. it's likeness to it so strong. But yeah, it's, the pinky pump's pretty gross. But a lot of times breeders would take a razor blade, very sharp razor blade, and actually slice the skin of the top of the baby mouse's head, exposing brain tissue. Mm -hmm. And absolutely works. It's disgusting. It's hard to do if it's live. Mm. Yeah. I would never do it on YouTube, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, and um, it needs to be like fresh. It, yeah, and, it, and at one case, it's like one life for another, right? Don't wait too long to do this kind of stuff right. with your baby corns because they don't have that long resilience, you know? Right. They're hatching out when the baby lizards and stuff are hatching out. They're not able to just chill and wait and just sit down with their body fat stores like a ball python or a blood right. python especially bloods won't bloods don't eat for crap sometimes as babies because mm -hmm. they're so sedentary right they don't use any energy so corn snakes use tons of energy tons of metabolism climbing around crawling everything else and that's going to spend out body weight mm -hmm. quick so don't wait too long those tricks work for us i don't know that we've had corn snakes very recently that haven't fed for us on that and honestly Nine times out of ten, or probably not more like nine point eight times out of ten, I go, I can get them right on frozen, right out of the egg, because that frozen smells weird. Yeah. It smells funky to them. Mm -hmm. Tastes funky to them. Yeah. Something that's like maybe a little bit of an appetite stimulant. Right. I don't know anything about those lizard scenting things and stuff like that. And personally, I'm not gonna take the scent thing into account until after most most feeding options have exhausted themselves because okay. I don't want to make a finicky snake. Right. You know? Same reason I don't give Morelia rats past the first day they eat one. That's mm -hmm. I mean mice past the first day they eat a rat. Yeah. You know, I will not give Morelia a rat a mouse after it's been eating a rat. Mm. It's a terrible idea. Morelia love to get like in my experience, right? Some of these Morelia guys may be like, oh no, that's not true. Ah, nah, nah. No, dude, I've been reading Morelia since I was a teenager, and that particular genus seems to be a little funny about that. So, um, yeah.
Good my to know. Mom. Anything else? Since you're tired and it's the end of the weekend, you guys have a long drive. Yes, but not today. Okay, fair enough. I'll awesome. come visit you again online. Definitely. We can look across each other from the computer screen. Yes. Yep, absolutely. Thank you so much. It's good much. seeing you again. Oh, All right. Wonderful yep. hanging out. Absolutely. Thanks for anytime. being with us. Anytime and you need anything, I'm happy to yeah, come on. Sean Bradley's right. the man. All right. So enjoy it, guys. On his website and Deadly his Tarantula podcast. Girl. Yeah. Uh, she hadn't killed me yet. I don't know what it's all about. Not I think it's yet. false advertising. <laughs> See you, Sean. Yep. Bye.